Hello, my name is Peter Parfit. Welcome to the New Brit Workshop and part two of my video about the Festal Conturo Portable Edge Bander. Now the machine is switched on and you can see I don't have to handle it with a huge amount of caution. It's nothing to be frightened of. Now in this video I'm going to show you some of the additional uh, features found in the edge banding set and in particular uh, this additional roller and this magazine which both fit onto the machine. We'll see that in a minute. Now I'm going to use as my demonstration uh, the banding of this piece of wood. You'll remember in part one I did three straight sides and this compound curve. Well this time uh, these curves are pretty tight. I've got uh, an internal curve here with a radius of 10 centimeters and external curves here of the similar radius but it's all quite tight. Well for the first uh, demo in this sequence I want to show you how I go about doing this fairly tight internal curve here. Now for this I'm going to fit uh, the additional roller which is part of the uh, edging set and it's very simple to fit. There's a little indent here and up above here and this just fits in and clips in place. It's as simple as that. Right, I've loaded my uh, material for the edging and uh, now I've got to really take care. I'm using the additional roller in this concave curve to push the edging against uh, the wood. Now one has to take care to make sure one keeps applying pressure to the edging as one goes. Uh, we start in a normal manner. Let's see how we get on. And keep that additional roller pressed in as one goes around the curve. And there we go. I must confess that was uh, slightly trickier than I expected. But bear in mind, I'm a novice. This is the first time that I've done this. And actually, I don't think that's too bad. That's come up really nicely. Considering it's the first uh, difficult one that I've done. I'm really pleased with that. I'm obviously no expert at doing edge banding. But, you know, for a first effort, I'm really pleased with that. Absolutely super. Now, here's, here's the piece of edging I'm going to put all the way around here. Uh, and it's not really unduly long, uh, but I do want to demonstrate uh, the magazine holder here. Now, in order to fit it, uh, you'll note on this side of the machine, there's the uh, width adjustment knob there, there's the Festool sign. Uh, there are a pair of lugs, one there and one there. And if you look at this, there are a pair of holes, one there and one there. Also on the uh, magazine there is a locking knob. Make sure for fitting that this is in the open position. There's a little padlock sign showing open and there's a padlock sign showing closed. And I found that the easiest way to do this is to locate the left hand pin first and then give it a little wiggle over and you encourage it down like so and then when that's done lock it with the knob there and that's it firmly in place. Now in order to use it uh, we need to coil up our edging such that the side that the glue is going to go on is on the outside. So there it is in there with the glue side on the outside and we're now ready to go. And we go about this in exactly the same way that we've done before. I need to make sure the edging is fed into the machine properly. And I'm just going to press this once. There it goes. It's fed in. I've got the tick mark on the screen here. So I'm ready to apply the edging. And I'm setting this up two centimeters away. And as soon as I see the edging coming through with glue on it, I'm going to start my process of moving around.
And there we go, all the way through to the end. Now I'm really pleased with this. It's absolutely super. And uh, particularly as it's my first effort uh, using this machine. Just look how good that is there. Absolutely super duper. Now we've finished our working day. We want to go home. All you have to do is press and hold the on off button and turn it off. And that's it. Take your jacket off. Text your wife to say you're coming home early. And off you go. Bye-bye. Well, I hope I've been able to show you just how easy it is to set up and use the Festal Conturo, even on difficult pieces like this. And bearing in mind, before I did these two pieces, I'd never used the machine before. I had no practice goes whatsoever. Now, the unique thing about this machine, apart from the fact it's got the Festal name on it, of course, is that it uses these solid glue blocks and only the glue that's required for the task in hand is melted. So you don't have all that hot, dangerous glue floating around. The machine can be handled quite easily. There's very few places where the machine gets hot at all. Now the machine is easy to set up. There's virtually no maintenance and it is an absolute joy to use. Now in this video, I've shown you a couple of more items from the edge trimming set. Uh, the magazine for holding edging and also the additional roller. The only things I've not mentioned at all is the soft pads which go underneath here uh, to protect delicate surfaces uh, and also there's a, a hard polishing pad which I've not mentioned. Otherwise everything has been shown already. I really do suggest that it's a good idea to get the edge trimming set if you're getting the Conturo. There is so much in there that is so very useful. Now in these two videos you've seen me use the Festal MFK 700. It's the edge trimming router and again this is the first time I've ever used it uh, and I realized just what a sweet little router this is and it's the perfect little tool uh, to support a process where you're having to trim edging. Now if you need any further persuasion to get hold of the Festal Conturo portable edge bander then go and get yourself a copy of the Festal manual it's called the perfect edge contact your Festool dealer and they'll send one to you. Alternatively, go to their website and you can see an electronic copy from there. Now, I've bought a lot of Festool kit in my time and I haven't been disappointed with a single item. And I'm sure you won't be disappointed with the Conturo. I think it's brilliant. I'm really grateful to Festool UK for letting me borrow all of this kit so that I can demonstrate it to you. The sad thing is it all has to go back tomorrow. Thank you very much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.